Welcome to another session from skillsupplies.com. In this session, we'll look into how to decorate a bottle and convert it into a home decor item or a piece of art. And for this, we'll be using stencil paints. And there's a reason why we are using stencil paints, which will illustrate once uh, we get going. Before we start, a little tip on how to choose bottle. You can choose any glass bottle, any color. And the only thing to keep in mind is it should not have any inscription on the body because there is where you are going to apply the paint. If there is little bit of inscription below or uh, you know down the bottle, it doesn't matter. But uh, basically it should not have any inscription on the top or you know, any writing on the top. And for that wine bottles are the best. Now it is time to paint and before we go ahead and do painting, let me just illustrate why we are using this uh, stencil paints. Now the stencil paints we can find in our uh, home design section in, in the website. Uh, the stencil paints are specially formulated to go on any any sort of surfaces and one important thing that it has is a, is a sponge applicator on top so color comes out from the center hole and then you can just apply using a sponge applicator i'll uh, use the blue color for this paint and then you can see how easy it is to paint this now let's get going and uh, you remove the cap and this is what you need to do. No special preparation is required for this. All you need to do is squeeze the paint and start dabbing. Uh, since the color of the bottle is dark, I may require 2-3. Not 2-3, probably second or third coat. If you know, depend on what is the you know quantity of paint that goes in the first coat. So you start doing it and let it dry once it is finished and then go for the second or the third coat. Another advantage with stencil paints is that you know you don't get those kind of streaks which you generally get when you are using brushes. So it's an even distribution of paints that you can achieve using stencil paints which is more like a spray that you will see on the bottle because the glass generally is very difficult to paint using any, any sort of paint and the brush. So I'll just quickly finish this and blow dry it. Yeah, you can actually blow dry it using a hair dryer. Come for a second coat. So let me just finish it fast. I've dried my first coat using a hair dryer. And uh, the easiest way to know that it is dry is to see that the finish is matte. So all the stencil paints basically dry matte and since the bottle is dark I can still see a little bit of see through in this and the black bottle is showing off so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do one more coat uh, if you are using white bottle second coat may not be necessary so let me just quickly go ahead and do another coat and once you start doing another coat you can see that it is much more opaque and the colors come out you know, much more brilliantly and this uh, this may be necessary for the dark color bottles it will leave a spot in the middle where the colors come out so just use the side of the sponge to make sure that it is distributed evenly and you don't see the spots final on your final design or your on your final paints and i'm leaving the top portion of this uncolored because i want to use another color and show you how to do a blend using some other color so the way is to color two different colors and you know do first color and then let it dry and then use another second color to create a blend so that you know your applicators are clean and the, the colors don't run on each other so i'll first let the color one dry and then use the second color to make a blend so in case you happen to squeeze a little bit more so just take the color from there and go ahead and spread it on the other sides where you feel this need more color and make it completely opaque so this looks like as if it is done and i'll try it and then we'll come with another color now the bottom of the bottle is uh, nice and dry i've dried it using a dryer so now it's time to actually do the top of the bottle. So I've chosen uh, silver color. Stencil color comes in, you know, 
fine metallic colors also. The same technique I'll apply here. I just squeeze the color and you know start going around. Of course, it will require you know two three coats as I can see. The first coat is not opaque enough to cover the entire bottle. So just let me go through this. Make sure that you do not go too much inside the first color because we need to create a blend. Just let me fast forward this. So I've left it till the borderline. Wait for it to dry, and then I'll come back and see how you know we can create a blend. So the first coat of silver is dried now. I'll just go ahead and you know do another set of dabbing on this. Please note that you know while you're applying this color, it will be slightly more opaque and it will not show that much reflectivity. Just let it dry and it will really become very reflective and you know the metallic finish that you're looking for will come once it dries. And because silver, it has all these glitters, uh, it gives a very nice um, foil effect where you know each part is reflecting differently as if you know you have wrapped a foil on top of it so that's another advantage if you are using silver or any 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 other metallic color we'll go through and see how to blend this blending always is is a sort of a challenge you know depending on what color you're using so but the basics are remain the same you have to start with you know a thick top layer and just do not use color in the lower bridge portion when you are entering into the another color so that is true for all sorts of blending so let me just go ahead and try blending it so I applied a squeezed color here and all I am doing is going ahead and simply dabbing here so do not squeeze color on the first color but outside that and then start dabbing it slowly on the other one so squeeze color here and then start dabbing it up more and slowly enter into the second color so that the major portion of the color or the major colors are on the top rather than down so I'll just cover this squeeze color on the top make sure that all the colors are basically used on the top and very little comes on the lower portion uh, now you can see the final result took the blue color again once this is dried and you know blended in the top so this looks okay to me let me just zoom in into the silver portion and this is the kind of texture you get uh, with the silver and this, uh, so uh, most of the time you will be able to get uh, opaque surface on the glass and stencil paints have very nice adhesiveness to glass so you can use it for other techniques like you know decoupage etc or a plain simple decoration or just painting on the glass. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's see you in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.